Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. As always, all of today's stories will be time marked down below. Let's hop into our first story though. Of course, a big controversy one in the news right now is Dazed apparently stepping down from competitive CSGO. I'm going to give all of you my thoughts on the situation that he did actually kind of foreshadow actually about a week ago on October 26. He tweeted out this tweet saying he was showing no energy in his gameplay itself. And so kind of foreshadowing as of last night, he actually came out and said he is now stepping down from the Team GX. That's actually their Mountain Dew League team with Swag and AZK and Dapper and Polo on that team as well. He's actually leaving that roster, being replaced by Whitmer, who was originally going to go to Team Rogue, so who knows how that season's going to end for them. He will be stepping down for the time being. We can assume as of right now, you know, given all the, th all the stuff he preluded to a long time ago, if you guys remember the countless videos he actually had about all the plans he had for the X I by Power squad, whether it was going to be pulling in investors, owning his own team, he really hyped us all up, especially as many of the organizers out there besides Valve and a few others had all but unbanned the team itself. It seemed like it was all but going up for these guys, and someone out there was going to buy them out. Out. Those plans have obviously fallen through, obviously lacking energy itself. And we also even had Steel come out and say some things about this. I think Steel had some very accurate things to say. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes? But here's what Steel, an old teammate of Dazed, had to say. Never, never in it. He wanted to fucking coast by and just like fucking rape through MDL, thinking it was a walk in the park. He got Brax and Kev because no one else would want to fucking play with them and they were banned too. And then he got Dapper and Polo because none of the other fucking players that he had on his exclusive list would play with him like the breeze he thought they would just go undefeated in mdl with minimal work and then once he realized that he'd have to put in work and that he'd have to travel again he's like fuck this i'm not it's not worth it he thought he could just get a nice cash grab by like getting investors or and then of course solidifying this bad relationship these two guys actually have we actually had steel himself post that and of course replying to that we had days with this tweet on screen for all of you we all knew these guys had bad blood i think there were a few doubters myself included about how serious it really was it does seem these two really do not like each other whatsoever and even on top of that it does seem uh, in terms of gx wise if you guys remember it was actually about a month ago mountain dew league did start a little over a month ago and they won their first four matches then previously they've actually now lost four of their last seven so kind of going downhill slowly i think I think overall it's pretty obvious what's going on here he actually posted a video about this himself days did and you guys can see right in that screenshot itself what the real problem here is is he can make a lot more money outside of CSGO or actually you know being slightly involved in CSGO making YouTube videos streaming and what he, what he wants to stream in terms of CSGO not having to put too much effort into it he can obviously roll rank s and and under players no matter what but when it comes to Mountain Dew League and above that he actually realized how many how many hours he really had to put in in order to be a top North American player even nowadays and even back in the past when they were so good and so dominant at the time I think maybe he forgot how much time it really is required to actually put into that and he can make so much more money shelling out all these gambling sites all these trading websites in his description of his YouTube videos he can make a very very solidified living easily six figures I'm guessing I, I think uh, that's pretty uh, presumable guess there as well he could probably tell us if he really wanted to he's making a very solidified living streaming and doing YouTube videos and not really having to put too much effort into the game because of course after being a pro player for so long he has it he has the the general skill set to retain that for the rest of his time playing CSGO. So what do you guys think about this? I think it's very, very disappointing to see so far because it really stops the movement, not only for Dazed himself, but also AZK and Swag trying to find a team with his help. That's also gone now as well. So what do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down below. And also in very exciting news for all you FaZe fans out there, we had FaZe Tico tweet out this, very, very well known for playing CSGO from time to time. Of all the FaZe Clan current members in that team, not including their CSGO roster, he's actually one of the better CSGO players. He tweeted out that, obviously asking for advice on who the best female team is and obviously being kind of sarcastic there they might be looking into female CSGO teams out there which of course brings to mind probably two of your top teams out there including Giuliano Zaz and Vilga on that of course Dynasty female gaming team alongside that maybe CLG Red are probably their two top options but will FaZe Clan actually dip into female CSGO I really do hope so guys and of course if you do not forget we actually have former FaZe Mojo no one really sure if he's actually still in FaZe Clan I think he is still a part of the of the team itself we have FaZe Mojo with close ties to Giuliano so will they actually get involved with FaZe Clan I actually reached out Juliano herself. Juliano, as of right now, has not heard anything uh, for updates for all of you guys. But will FaZe Clan get into female CSGO? I sure hope so. And we all know they are not fearful. They are not scared of actually spending money to acquire the best teams out there. So we'll see if they actually invest sometime soon. And very last in today's episode of CSK News, I wanted to touch on the latest update by CSGO and their devs. Of course, the sound occlusion update, which is supposed to obviously enhance the sound. Of course, many people kind of uh, mis misinterpreting this as well. We have our CSGO devs out there making updates, not to try and hurt the game on purpose, but of course, trying to improve the game. Although, 
We had countless pros out there take to Twitter and other forums out there to actually complain about this update, saying to take it back. Of course, when if you guys remember way back to the weapon sounds, when we first tried to change the weapon sounds many, many months ago, there were many complaints about that as well. I myself was one of them thinking the set weapon sounds just sounded so far off and so otherworldly, and now I actually don't mind them whatsoever. I'm not sure this is actually one of those updates where, of course, at first it might sound a bit weird, and maybe later down the road it actually will sound, I'll acclimate to it, I'll actually come become more familiar with it. This actually might be an update which is overall just not meant for the game itself. Can we revert back to the old one? Should we? What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think mostly though of the pro players out there complaining and taking to Twitter to be a bit, maybe dramatic is the right word for it, maybe a bit, uh, we have people like uh, Valde out there tweeting out things that were very aggressive which are probably not going to help things at all. And then of course we have people like Fallen who take the exact opposite route and actually are able to try, trying to actually progress the game itself, trying to make changes and actually help the devs out and what's wrong and what's correct with the future updates. I don't know, I'm also really uh, kind of a biased opinion as well because I don't play CSGO near as much as those pro players out there so of course it's not going to affect me near as much. I'm not being paid to actually play CSGO so kind of a different perspective from mine so I want to know what you guys think about that. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm not going to take the next couple days off and I hopefully will come back in a couple days with more CSGO news. Hope you guys all enjoy. As always, leave a comment down below. I'll reply to all the comments today. I have a lot of free time so leave a comment right now guys what your thoughts are, what your opinions are and as always, I will see you guys in a couple days. Remember, I like you, live, love, laugh a lot and uh, goodbye. Thank you